bad, dude. I saw a video on YouTube about how the insane clown posse had plans to physically kick my ass. We all collectively decided the next time we see Steve-O, we're beating his ass. And I totally deserved it because I was a real dick to those guys. Like he was like, you guys ain't even real clowns. I went to clown college, you know, I know all about being a real clown. You guys ain't real, that's cool, man, but you guys are some fake ass clowns, you know? And me and Killer are looking at each other like, man, fuck this guy, you know what I'm saying? That video made me feel awful. So I reached out to Violent J and asked him if he would come on my podcast so that I could try to make things right. I was disrespectful as fuck, man. And uh, I wish I would have thought to reach out to you without all those years going by. He couldn't have been a nicer guy and we became instant bros. Then we started talking about how the fans of the insane clown posse, Juggalos, are actually classified as a gang by the FBI. I mean, so are you the gang leader, technically? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I am to the FBI, man. I told him, I want to be in the gang. How do I join? And he says, you just get a hatchet man tattoo. And I'm like, I love tattoos. I love clowns. I love gangs. Let's go. So I reached out to my tattoo guru, Mike Santa Fe, who's training me to become a tattoo artist. And we went camping and fucking got rad. You've done ICP tattoos before. I've done Hatchet Man, for sure. I need you to bury the Hatchet Man <laughs> right <laughs> under the skin, dude. <laughs> I was truly excited about getting this tribute to my new bromance with ICP, and I loved the idea of being in trouble with the FBI. But as I looked up ICP tattoos, I saw some alarming articles. Oh no, dude. Juggalo's meme roommate because he hadn't earned insane clown. Oh, man. <laughs> oh no. Posse tattoo. What are you doing? <laughs> Oh shit, dude. I kind of started to think I was asking for real trouble by getting this tattoo, because it turns out more than a few ICP fans are actually murderers. Self-proclaimed Juggalo is responsible for attacking a man on a bike with a meat cleaver. Juggalos are arrested after the body of 21-year-old Michael Goucher is found in the woods, stabbed more than 20 times. Psycho Sam was charged with the brutal murders of his girlfriend and three others. It's not like I wasn't gonna do it, it, I just figured I should get Violent J's blessing on camera. So I put on some clown makeup, I called him up on FaceTime, and I'm like, do I have your blessing? Are you a juggalo for life? And I'm like kind of in a panic. I'm like, what does that mean? Like, why mean you tell me, dude? And he explained that juggalo is, is the ultimate freedom. It's, a, it's totally not judging anybody else for what they're into. I've been that for my whole life, dude. Then get that cat, man, because that's you. And anybody that don't like you can fuck off. That's right. After that, of course, I felt great about it. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, dude. So I went ahead and put it right on my wrist. There's got to be a special reveal on oh, any yeah, tattoo we're doing show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much the second I got that tattoo, word spread around the ICP community, and there were calls made to have me at the gathering of the Juggalos, which is notoriously insane. So I throw on one of my new ICP jerseys and cruise to the fucking airport. As I'm going through security, the TSA guy says, check it out, dude, I'm a juggalo. We're <laughs> everywhere, bro. <laughs> and sure enough, when we get to this festival, it was bonkers. Yeah, welcome to the gathering, motherfucker! <laughs> We're driving this golf cart around the whole campgrounds with Wendy. And it's surreal to think that we're in the actual place known for. Since then, emergency crews have worked six other overdose cases at the gathering. But I had to get to the stage and introduce the first act. Of course, all that was supposed to be was just introduce the acts, but that's not my style. I said, I'm gonna do something cool. <laughs> And each time I come back on stage, I'll do something more intense. So by the time I'm out of here, I'm gonna be fucking covered in blood and lit on fire, and it's gonna be dope. Everything was clearly warming up, but then I ran into my bro DJ Paul, and he was already on fire. <laughs> Man, my man's all fucked up. The guy had a lot to celebrate. He won an Oscar, for God's sakes, and he was at the gathering, so he might have been a little bit tipsy. How's that Oscar doing? This is the best dude in the world. That dude just has a positive mental attitude, 
and a juggler tattoo on his neck. <laughs> so I'm doing my thing, and I notice a bunch of people in the crowd are screaming, show us your butthole. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't get it. But sure enough, they want to see your butthole. They really care about that. So the next time I came out, I did my double back trick. <laughs> And who am I to not give them what they want? So I served up the double back barn door blowout. I couldn't have spread it wider. Oh my God. I couldn't have, I spread it as far as I could. That was nothing compared to DJ Paul. He was in Fago. <laughs> So y'all fucking see what the fuck is going on, Steve-O in the motherfucking building, Steve-O! I was so swept up in his performance, I almost forgot to prepare for my next stunt. Let's not forget my promise to be covered in my own blood. <laughs> Loved my makeup, but not as much as my butthole, so I showed it to him again. <laughs> and let's just say Vanilla Ice's set, a lot of acid seemed to be kicking in in that place because it got crazy. <laughs> Now there's literally nothing left except the moment we've all been waiting for. And it was building up, they're getting the stage ready. But then they told me something awful. Nobody introduces ICP. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I promised these people I'm gonna light myself on fire. I have to do it. They said 100%, no way. So what did I do? I went to go chat with the actual bros about it. Shaggy 2 Dope and Violent J. Bill told us, oh no, nobody introduced his eyes. No, 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 I said, I said yeah, that we're earlier, I said that. fuck it. So yeah, I went for it. night, man. ICP put on a hell of a show. And let me tell you something. If more people had the passion for life that jugglers do, this world would be a better place. That's why I'm so proud of my hatchet, man, because it represents freedom and passion and love. So yeah, thank you ICP, thank you Juggalos, and anybody who isn't subscribed to this channel, fuck you, man. Come on, dude, what do I not make dope videos? <sighs> Subscribe and like. Get on board, man. This not having a diamond plaque is bullshit. Fuck it. Whoop whoop. <laughs>